What is up, everybody? This is your boy the e bike guy. I say that every time. <laughs> I might have changed up my introduction a little bit, but anyway, so you can see right here, this is the Anoki 88 Pro Max. Now, this is a different type of Anoki. Now, we have modified this to go a little bit faster than stock. Now, you know, this one had dual motors. I don't know how many watts it's pushing out, but we do uh, have a different motor in the back. Now, so we have we have a QS205 with a 3.5T. Uh, also, we're using a stock battery. We do have a four driver controller uh, that's hitting this side, this bag in the back. Uh, that is a 7280 or uh, 260 controller. So it's 80 amps. Also, we have a display, DKD display. We also have a horn that I mounted up. And this, and the customer is very happy. Actually, he actually picking it up today. Now, a little disclaimer. If you know what you're doing, if you want to modify your e-bike, especially the Anoki, uh, this bike is made bulletproof. What I'm saying is that the dropouts are really strong. It takes a lot of effort to actually bend those down at least two inches to uh, to those axles to fit because that is a one mil, one fifty two, or meant one fifty mil dropout. And I believe it's like a 190, 170, 190 mil, and it's not gonna it's not gonna be a direct plug and play. Now I do advise y'all to get the uh, MB Power 5000 watt hub motor. The axles are a lot longer. And you can fit that in with, uh, you know, saying with no hiccups. Okay. So anyway, so now, um, but yeah, um, he's actually uh, here to pick it up. I will let you know how fast this thing going, but it's on 49% or not 49%, but maybe like 50, 51% of battery life. So it's not fully charged yet. So he's going to actually take it home. They're loading, they're getting the, the rack ready to load this bike up so now like i was saying uh if you don't know what you're doing do not try to modify your anoki 88 max with the qs uh 205 okay because like i said the axle is not long enough all right it takes a lot of effort to bend that we actually had to bend those dropouts on a press to actually get the fit but anyway so inside this uh this here box now we do this battery has two plugs so it has two xt90s we're going into one qs8 going into the controller we also have a step down converter it's a 20 to 90 volts going into 12 volts and that's to run his horns that he got from the boat which are crazy now like i say huge brakes with these type of brakes you don't read really the in uh regen to stop these things stop just as well just because massive rotors decent calibers on this thing and it's just uh yeah it's, it's it's a big bike it's a big and heavy bike uh customer had made his own seat uh yeah and he's uh, uh ready to take it to the house and uh yeah but anyway so yeah i just wanted to show y'all the little modifications that i did for him and i say the customer's happy and uh yeah <laughs> i like it too so anyways all right i'm gonna go for right now this is a day of rest of sunday and uh we're gonna go ahead and play around a little bit with the kids but anyways this is you by guy i'll see y'all next one peace